Hello friends. In this video, we will build a counter application using Hive. So Hive is a database which can store the data in the form of key and value. So you can see fast key value database, which is written purely in Dart, which means it, it can be used anywhere which uses Dart. We want to use this in Flutter. So if we use Hive Flutter, it can help us with some inbuilt feature and functionality. So we are going to use Hive Flutter. So we will go to the pubspec.yml file inside the dependency we will add it. Now it has been added moving forward what I will do I will stop the application and start it again so basically restarting the application. So it is a good practice to restart the application whenever you are adding any dependency. So I am going to remove all the code and start writing from scratch. In this way, it will help you to understanding the code and how it is working or follow any tutorial. Okay, so now I am having a material with home page. So I don't have home page currently. So I will create a directory called screens inside that I will create a file home.dart. I will create one stateful widget which will be home page and that is going to return a scaffold with app bar as app bar. Now let's import home page here. I want to update the theme to dart. Awesome. Moving forward, coming to the home page, I will set a title as counter app. Now in the scaffold, I will add a button called floating action button extended and that will basically uh, increment button. When we press on the increment, it will call a method called increment action. Now I will create one variable called counter which will have the value zero. So whenever this increment action will be called, it will update the state using set state and update the value of counter by adding one to it. Now it's time to display that value which is counter. So in the body we will show count and counter. Now I will add a center so the value can be displayed in center. I will add a little bit style to the text so that the text can be easily readable. Currently the text is very small. So let's make it headline 3. Now if I press on the button it increment the number if I restart the app it starts from the zero So this is something which we are going to fix using hive So in the main I will initialize the hive so you see init and init flutter So init flutter should be used in flutter so that it can use the path and store the database at the right location and the init flutter returns future so we have to use await before it and when we use await the method become async so now we have initialized the hive in our flutter application moving forward now in this database in hive we have a box so we have to open a box before using it so here i will open this box which is anything like you can name the box anything because we are just opening it if this exists this will not create this box if this box doesn't exist it will create this box again so box is like a table or you can say collection if you know about database if you don't know then also it's fine you can learn uh, while following this tutorial so open box also written future so we will add a weight before it and we can tell the data type here in open box in the angle bracket so when you tell any data type, now this open box or basically this tutorial box is bounded to use integer data as the value, which means we cannot store any other value in this tutorial box. So the value will be always integer. Okay, moving forward. Now what we want, so whenever the app should start, it should get the value from the database and initialize the counter application so i will say hive dot box and using this i will get the box so the box name is tutorial so let's put it tutorial here once i get the box i will get the value using box dot get so inside the get we have to tell the key you know like the key value 
database so we have to tell the key so i will create one variable called counter key and here i will say home counter so this is the key currently like this is the first time so this doesn't have any value one more thing the key can be either integer or string you can pass the key directly or using variable it's good to pass using variable the first time this key doesn't have any value so i will put question mark question mark zero which is zero is the default value when this box doesn't have value corresponding to this key when once i get the value i will store the counter in the counter variable i will store the value okay so moving forward how the box will have this value because how do we store it so when we click on the increment action we will have a box and inside the box we will put the value so we have to say key so inside this key we will store the counter value so now that's it so if i restart the application it is three and if i restart again it is still three because i am storing and when the app restart if i restart the app in the init state i am getting the value here in the getting the value and storing to the counter variable so let's print something counter value in it with value so you see it says seven counter value in it with seven if i increment and restart the counter value in it with 13 which means the value is getting fetched from hive so if you face any problem in understanding let me know if i can help you i will love to help you thank you